Now, the National Assembly has said that they will not be resuming on the 25th of sec September as scheduled, but it will be shifted to October. Will that amount to impunity as well? Well, Why is this happening? if you look at the argument of the National Assembly, they have said that, you know, they would need time for the joint um, committee to harmonize the bill for the, sorry, the, um, su the supplementary budget for INEC in 2019. Quick question. Are you still receiving your running cost while you're on your break? Of course. Okay. Uh, sorry, no, I just wanted to know. Continue. I just told you that the Joint Committee is still working, even on break now. People in government don't have the kind of break that we have. They don't even count Saturday and Sunday in their own calendar. I told you, plenary is Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Friday, they do some things, then come back to their constituency. These people are living fat on the resources that belong to the collective. And if you look at the percentage, whether APC or PDP or whichever political party, if you look at the percentage of those that are enjoying while a vast majority of Nigerians are suffering, it is a microscopic few compared to the general population of Nigerians. What Nigerians must do is begin to participate actively in governance. And how do we participate actively in governance? We must open our minds and begin to ask questions. People should not deceive us with ethnic politics, with religious politics, with political affiliation. Oh, they are that party. That is why, no, there are two classes of Nigerians, the political class and the suffering masses. This political class enjoy everything that comes with government. Them are their friends and their cronies, and they switch political parties. Some of them even wear PDP singlet, PDP boxers, APC and better. Why the majority of Nigerians are suffering, and a poor man will be fighting a poor man because two big people are having issues. What Nigerians must do is take their destiny in their hands. This is not violence. This is not chaos. This is by participating actively, asking questions. When somebody comes to you to tell you impunity will end, or how will impunity end? When you send your children abroad, you people supplant education in Nigeria. You go, you go abroad to get the very best of Medicare, and our doctors are running out, our nurses are running out. Why? Because they are not being taken care of. Impunity will end, and we say the reward of a teacher is in heaven. Impunity will end. You have destroyed everything in Nigeria. I hate when they really make you upset like this on the Monday, Monday afternoon, Chukudi. I mean, should it's we unfortunate. Should we lighten Chukudi's yeah, mood a bit? I, I think we before, should. Before we wrap up trending stories. All right, so Chukudi, what, what, what's, the, what's the way forward now for us as... As young people. As young people, looking at Nigeria's population demographics, we must take the lead. Okay, that was that was the plan was to lighten that. Thing okay, I think I think this might Sorry. work. Now, Thank a video you. surfaced on the internet over the weekend, right? And some people were of the opinion allegedly that, allegedly that this was Senator Adeleke. And However, course, it's David been o. confirmed, exactly of course, also through OBO, that it is not Senator Adeleke. How did you feel when you saw Obviously, that video? Obviously, when I saw the video, because I always tell people to critically you know, critically analyze news. When I saw the video, I know that you cannot put certain things past Nigerian politicians. So do you think that, I'm sure there have, there have been some conspiracy theories surrounding that video, saying people want to make him look bad. Well, I mean, your political rivals or competitors will do everything to undermine you. Like I said, you cannot put certain things past Nigerian politicians. A Nigerian politician told us that he was hanging on a tree for 11 hours. A Nigerian politician wore neck brace. The front, he put it at the back. The back, he put it at the front. <laughs> He hung, he, 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 his, his hand, there was a sling, a broken neck and a broken arm. And he was shouting, I'm in pace, I'm in pace. And another Nigerian senator has coined the name dancing senator for himself. So, so it's of no surprise. If, you, of if you look at Nigerian mm. politicians, the truth is, a lot of them, you cannot put certain things past them. But like I always say, when we see information in this era where people are quick to disseminate falsehood, we should be critical and careful. In a few seconds, let's assume that we find out that a video like that surfaces on the internet and is one someone who is running for office. What does that make of the person? Well, I would not be I would not be surprised because nothing nothing will ever as the way we, for my study of Nigeria's history and historiography, looking at governance and the evolution, nothing will ever surprise me in this country again. If I what is even surprise what will even surprise me is the day Nigerians wake up and say no. We are not going to allow somebody to come to tell me because that man is a Muslim, because that man is a Christian, let's not vote for him. That's the day I will be surprised. Because it would appear like these guys have, they have, they have, blind, they have blindfolded us All right. and we don't know what we are doing. But quickly, this is what Nigerians should do. We must begin to carry ourselves with dignity and respect. If you look at people in society and you admire these people, it is not just because they are rich or because of they have all the money to spend. It is because of the value that these people add. For one, I respect people that are wealthy, but I will not just respect you because of your wealth. In fact, what I even consider most important is your humanity. Yeah. You cannot see somebody that is hungry and you will not be willing to share when you have excess. You cannot see people living 
people that are homeless and you build a mansion with 200 rooms and you can only sleep in one you cannot see a very bad road and you buy a jeep that has good shock absorber because you want to show that you have good shock absorber so we need to begin to see that human side of all nigerians are not wicked people we see how we rally around to raise money for people that are sick i recall a lady that had stage four cancer it was obvious that if you go by medical records she was not likely going to make it but in two days nigerians were able to raise close to 35 million naira we are, ordinary Nigerians. We are kind people and we have a good heart. We are hoping that... So why are we allowing prepare, wicked people destroy the country and lead us astray? the 19 elections, it's our hope that we would start to see a lot of that humanity come into play. We'd like to see that empathy. We'd like to see a lot Hopefully. more Nigerians who are running for office, thinking about the welfare and the greater good of other Nigerians. And we also, as people who are not running for office, we can do our own bit by showing our kindness and our thoughtfulness, by putting people in power because of what they can give, not because of our affiliations, religious or tribal affiliations with them. But thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, thank very you much. so much. Ah, we did not do happy new yeah. week. To so enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.